has also been with us since day one. Thank you for everything you do and your family. And your company is awesome. Our veteran, I would ask you to please stand because we are here for you and we want to honor you. So if you're a veteran, both star spouses are represented this evening. Fire is light and light is hope. And hope is returning to the veteran community. Let's light the way and lead the change together. The Vets Project changed my life. That group therapy session changed my life. This girl, that boy, mm -hmm. and all of us in here uh, owe them an extraordinary debt of gratitude. Um, some of the people in this audience literally owe them their lives. But my reputation is not more worth more than their lives. Mm. And I think that's the bumper sticker that we all need to live our lives on. It's about honoring our promise to our military families and confronting the high incidence of suicide in the military and veteran community. More than 20 veterans kill themselves every day. 27% of post 9-11 veterans are diagnosed with PTSD. We have a crisis and the idea that we wouldn't research potential breakthrough treatments is unacceptable. The status quo is inadequate and it won't stop service members and veterans from committing suicide. The most recent phase three clinical trials with MDMA found that 86% of the study participants had reduced PTSD symptoms and 71% didn't even qualify as having PTSD anymore. I have so many close friends of mine who could say that they're alive today because of this treatment. Their marriages have survived because of this treatment. The idea that we wouldn't even research it, that we would keep this out of the hands of people who need it is appalling. We owe this to our service members. We owe it to their families. And this is a really small but a positive step in the right direction. And I think the VA and Department of Defense need to coordinate on this research into this psychedelic assisted therapy. That's all this amendment does. And I encourage my colleagues to support it. Psychedelics. These things work. The clinical data are showing that. 65% plus success rate for what would otherwise be intractable, untreatable suicidal depression. Incredible. Ibogaine was described to me by a friend who was a former SEAL team operator because he, he went down to Veteran Solutions and he said he was eyes open, no hallucinations. Every time he would close his eyes, he would get a high definition, movie quality view of an experience from his life. And all of that might just sound really crazy and extreme, but keep in mind those same people are coming back to Stanford and no one is scanning their brains before and after mm. and seeing incredible changes in the positive direction. People developing empathy for themselves. I mean, people really working through the barbed wire stuff of their past. It's headed towards mainstream medicine. And I think it's fundamentally important. These compounds are going to bend the arc of history in the right direction. Psychiatric neurological illnesses that veterans suffer from, right? I met with Marcus and Amber in 2020. I spent like 30 minutes talking to Marcus and, you know, I wasn't talking to this hardened Navy SEAL, right? I was talking to this very humble, thoughtful guy. Then Amber tells me the, the story of basically he couldn't screw a light in a light fixture before he went down there, right? So it's like he went from really bad shape to like normal. This will be the first human neuroscience study of Ibogaine. It is the kind of apex psychedelic. You're a torchbearer because you have transformed your unimaginable pain into purpose as you continue to help others to advocate, to educate, and to empower. I love you dearly. Thank you for being the torchbearer.